time to bring you entertainment news. My name is Kenny Keke Ogunwe. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ife Ife Adak. <laughs> and I'm Edna Edi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good morning. I am on my vibes. If we're in short. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So are we ready? Yep. All right. We start from the ladies. All right. Okay, all right. Um, starting from Oma Vibes, I have news concerning coronavirus. In fact, not one, about two. But I'll start off with this one. Coronavirus fake news Twitter account shut down. A false Twitter account was set up in the name of Andover War Memorial Hospital. The NHS has taken action to remove false Twitter accounts that have been spreading misleading information about the coronavirus. One account falsely set up in the name of a hospital, Andover, urged the M Square town to move into lockdown amid influx of patients. The NHS said it had intervened to have the account shut down and it said it would ensure official NHS accounts on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and um, other social media platforms were properly flagged. And this, uh, this is international. We also have a case in Nigeria concerning this um, the man, the driver that drove uh, the Italian man yeah. that came to Nigeria. Uh, a Twitter account came up to say to claim he was the person and said he wants uh, Another amount of money. If not, it will spread it all over. All over. But the the other the real person said, "No, I'm not the one. It's the village people." <laughs> <laughs> so really, this is another international news concerning uh, coronavirus. This is not the time to really spread false information and mm. get people um, scared of this virus. All right, mm. Edna. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, Game of Thrones star Max von Sydow is dead. Mm. He died on Sunday, March 8, 2020, which was confirmed by his wife, Catherine von Sydow. The sweet Swedish actor died in his home in France at the age of 90. His wife shared the sad news through a statement released to Paris March. She said, it is with a broken heart and with infinite sadness that we have the extreme pain to announce the departure of Max von Sydow on March 8, 2020. Now, Sydow was very popular for his three-eyed driven character in HBO award-winning series Game of Thrones. So if you're a fan of Game of Thrones, you would know the three-eyed driven. <laughs> you would know him very well. And he also had this award-winning character as father marine yeah. in 1973 horror movie the exorcist yeah. he was nominated for the international award from the uh, performance he did in the seventh seal which came out in 1957 so he died at 90 well that's yeah. not bad not bad at least the, the, the series has ended so yeah there's I mean, it, <laughs> no, no it's not <laughs> It's not what I think. It's not what you think. So if the series had not ended, we'll be sad because it was like a good person yes. in the movie. So. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> <laughs> no, interesting. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, moving on to this one, uh, cyber fraud seems to be in the news again. Mm. Uh, there's a story that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC) has arrested a hotelier Oladimide Lushego of and 79 others in Ikorodu, Lagos, for allegedly in being involved in internet fraud. According to the commission, Obufalaju owns Lakers Hotel and Lake County Entertainment in Ikorodu, where the nation newspaper actually mm -hmm. learned that the suspects were arrested on Saturday, March 7, 2020, during a raid. The commission alleged that the hotel, which houses a nightclub and a street bar, was built in 2017 with proceeds of internet fraud. It claimed that the hotel was a haven for internet fraudsters and was guarded by armed security men who took to their heels on citing the EFCC operators. Ah. All right. Indeed. Let's take you to London, where Anthony Joshua, all right, uh, gave a moving speech in front of royal family at Westminster Abbey about his heritage to celebrate Commonwealth Day. Anthony Joshua, we all know him, a Watford-born boxing world champion, who is 30 years old, was speaking about his Nigerian roots, Nigerian roots to celebrate in front of the Queen at Westminster Abbey. All right, fans were moved by Joshua's kind, positive words, with one saying he should be proud of his wonderful speech. Addressing the crowd at Westminster Abbey, Joshua said, My name is Anthony Oluwafemi Olasheni Joshua, and like many of you, I'm a child of Commonwealth. Mm. I was born in Watford, and my heritage is Nigerian. I come from Yoruba people who are the largest and some might say the loudest ethnic group in all of Africa. <laughs> I'm proudly Nigerian and I'm proudly British. Uh, I'll be happy to take you to that uh, Westminster where Anthony Joshua made the speech 
Let's listen to Anthony Joshua's speech. He spoke in front of the royal family, including the Queen of England. Alright, Pandit Yama, a goosey soup. Okay, now, congratulations on the wonderful speech. I was moved. He's proud. He's proud. He's proud. He's proud. All right, off to the next. Okay, on to the next uh, news I have with me is Coachella Festival expected to be postponed over coronavirus concerns. Uh, this is another big event that will be facing postponement or cancellation because of the virus. So the news says uh, the annual Coachella Valley Music Arts and M Festival. Valley Music at Music and Arts Festival, beg your pardon, is the latest major event to be affected as worldwide concerns over COVID-19, commonly known as coronavirus, continue to grow. Two sources tell ET that Coachella, which is set to take place in India, California, on April 10 to 12 and April 17 to 19, is expected to be postponed to a later date due to concerns over the coronavirus. Organizers for Coachella and State Coast Festival, which is scheduled to take place April 24 to 26, also in India, are reportedly in talks to move the festival to October, according to Billboard. The lineup is set to feature performances from headliners like Travis Scott, Frank Ocean, Rage Against the Machine, Leonard DeRay, Mega The Stallion, Da Baby, and more. The ET has reached out to festival organizers to comment. Coachella possible postponements will come amid the cancellation of numerous festivals like South by Southwest, Miami's Ultra Music Festival, and France Tomorrow's Land Winter 2020, as major other events cancel their um, concerts. Also, BET, BTS, South Africa, South Korea biggest band, also canceling their own tours in all countries that are infected already or affected by this corona. Virus. Uh, we also mentioned movies like Mission Impossible yeah. 7, uh, The Amazing Race, yeah. uh, also James, James Bond, Bond, No uh, Time to James Die. Die. All, all those movies are also cancelled or postponed for later dates because of coronavirus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Um, Ed Sheeran has gotten creative with tattoos on his back in honor of his future five children. Mm. The English singer is definitely looking forward to starting a family and being a father to not just one or two, but to five kids. According to Daily Mirror, the singer created space on his back for tattoos of his future children's palm prints. The tattoo is said to consist of five circles that have been arranged in the shape of the Olympic rings and every child's palm print will go into those space. I don't know how it's going to say that. Maybe um, the, the, the child, they will have yeah. like... Um, some paint on mm -hmm. it, okay. like permanent paint, and we'll just place at the back of the chair and yeah. it's, it's so amazing. It's also reported that he has various tattoos for different meaning, including achievements and also honoring family members. He is married to childhood girlfriend, Cherry Seaborn, and he's, they just recently um, celebrated their one year in marriage. I'm so happy for a chair and like, it's being so a father of five. I is he like sure that he's going to get five? I mean, for the fact that no, he, he can get five, he can get two on his hands. Those people, they do two, I'm like, no, nah, they want to remove no, no, the no, other thing. No, 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 no. All he needs to do is just freeze his sperms and, you know, get um, surrogate moms. Okay. Yeah. To right. spin as many children as he wants. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, that's all he needs he look, to do. He looks like a lawyer of wrestling. So... It's not disloyalty. He could agree, have that agreement with his wife. With his wife. Yeah. 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 No, I, I love it, Sharon, and cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah, cool. Nobody touches already. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, this one is talking about Ronaldinho. You already heard the news right here on Kenneth FM. Well, the story now is the fact that former Brazil and ex FC Barcelona player Ronaldinho Gocho is adapting quickly to life in Paraguay and jail. <laughs> the head of facility has already told Reuters, and that was yesterday. The former Paris Saint Germain forwards lawyers are, however, hopeful he may soon be released into the house arrest while the investigation continues. Now, uh, there's a quote here that says, in broad terms, he's doing very well. All right. <laughs> NBA superstar Dwayne Wade joined his wife, Gabrielle Union, and his daughter, Zaya, who recently came out as trans, as the Truth Awards for Zaya's first red carpet award show since Dwayne Wade made the announcement. Zaya and her parents were interviewed by where, I mean, of course, where is the boss TV while on the red carpet, and she was asked about finding her voice to speak her truth. Zaya explained that she felt like she was always destined to something, which she feels like she found once coming out as trans. Zaya added, I just feel like people should be able to live their lives. 
to the fullest, either being a trans or being a man or a girl. Mm -hmm. And I think that means knowing you are truly, knowing who you are truly, being able to show other people who you are. That's just what it's all about. You remember, we gave you the news earlier about Wayne Wade trying to say that he will cut off <laughs> but don't let me say anything. <laughs> I, I, I know it's news, but what makes him a man? Thank you. Okay, that's better. Mm -hmm. To you, Dwayne Wade, for coming out to talk about your family like that. Mm -hmm. Again, this world, I don't know where it's turning to. <laughs> oh, my I mean, God will guide us. Amen. This one is coming back to Nigeria, and it's quite funny. The news broke out yesterday about the email of Kano Sanus Lamido being. Is it the what is it to the throne? The throne. Yeah. Thank you. So Idris Abdul Karim comes out to mock Emir of Kano on his detriment and he says, um okay, the news says um Idris Abdul Karim calls out the throne Emir of Kano for not supporting good luck Jonathan's administration. Idris Abdul Karim has called out the dethroned Emir of Kano, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, for not supporting the administration of the former president, Kulok Jonathan. He was the uh, the Emir was dethroned uh, yesterday, March 9, 2020. And a veteran rapper took to his Instagram page on Monday, uh, where he wrote about how a governor who was caught on camera stealing public funds was able to dethrone an Emir. In his tweet, he said, Dear Sanusi Lamido, a corrupt man caught Stuffing dollars into Babariga, we moved you from the office. It is an unfortunate situation, but the price you have to pay, but this is the price you have to pay for championing the Jonathan is corrupt cause with no evidence but propaganda. Today you are witnessing the real corruption. Good luck, you wrote. All right. <laughs> and recall that Anusi was the former governor of uh, Central, Central Bank of Nigeria mm -hmm. before. He was uh, enthroned yeah. at now the area, but now I'm banished. <laughs> Good luck, like. Good luck, Jonathan. And uh, <laughs> yes, yes, like he, he uh, Abdul Karim said. He was uh, against uh, good luck. He didn't support him. At the end of the day, you're wishing him good luck. Like good luck, Jonathan. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on all to the next. moving on. Mercy Johnson's husband, Prince Okoje, has uh, sued. Is suing David Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> He he filed a lawsuit against the singer Davido. According to reports, Davido was billed to perform at the opening ceremony of Prince Okoje's hotel, which is Henos Luxury Hotels in Abu by Lagos. However, after allegedly receiving the sum of three million naira, Davido, who confirmed that he will be present at the grand launch through Instagram, failed to show up. Now the singer is pre is currently um in North America for his tour, and he has refused to acknowledge the issue. And all efforts to speak to his management team proved abortive, as they have as they have stopped taking calls. I mean, if you said you were going to show up, you took the money. You see my face. <laughs> <laughs> I have no yeah, to You, you with took that. the money, three million naira. Come on, you should have just said something. How much is this regular fee? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Mm. Three million is something. And nobody is saying anything from the management. Maybe it was not paid enough. But it was not paid enough. He would have agreed. He would have accepted. And he posted it on his social media handle. That's confirmation. The thing is, he shouldn't have agreed. Not that he wouldn't have. People say things all the time. I'm not saying it's good. But he paid 3 million. He collected 3 million. That means he has accepted. Some kind of acceptance level is also involved. Sure Maybe that. that's not the total fee to come to what you are saying. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I may say that okay, my fee is five million. Mm. Pay advance. Million pay I'll advance. pay the balance. Mm. Pay advance. I'll pay the balance by so so date. Oh, this is the relationship. Pay three million. You can do that. And what I'm trying to say is that you can pay on Friday. The mm. event is on Sunday. Mm. You pay three million now and pay the balance by Saturday morning. Mm. You pay the three million by Saturday morning. You didn't pay the balance. Mm. The event is tomorrow. I will not show up. We don't know the case. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. But the, the person coming out to file the lawsuit, he must probably think he has a of good, course. A good case. Of course. Yeah. If they set up a post, he will make money. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, still talking about uh, TV, the Walking Dead zombie actor Michael Mundy has been jailed for biting a fan. Mm. American actor Michael Mundy, who starred as a zombie in The Walking Dead, has been jailed for biting a mother of two after they met at a horror convention in the United Kingdom. Monday, 52, began dating Beverly Jackson after meeting at the UK meet and greet, but he subjected her to physical abuse, including sinking his teeth in. Mundy returned to the United States but messaged Jackson two years ago to ask if she could 
if he could sleep in her spare room in Manchester when he was next in the UK. Jackson admitted she fell for Monday because initially he was very charming and he promised to help her get into films. However, he became more and more abusive. According to The Sun UK, Jackson from Liverpool says she was first attacked by Monday in a hotel room in Germany in late 2018. All right, the next one is coming from 50 cents. He's uh, booing uh, Bow Wow. What happened to Bow Wow? Bow Wow was performing on the new version of the Millennium Tour and had a mishap while rocking the packed out show. Bow Wow was in the middle of a verse when the rapper's audio stopped. We're wondering what was stopping the audio. Mm. The sound didn't stop because of technical issues, it was stopped because the rapper fell hard to the ground and untimely uh, off stage. Since then, 50 of them has taken to Instagram to climb Bow Wow Wow, Bow Wow, <laughs> falling, saying, damn it, damn it, man, Bow Wow can't come to Tycoon for falling off the stage and S word now. Stay home, man. Don't be coming and be falling. Many others, like Snoop Dogg, Jermaine Dupre, commented on 50 sports by laughing as well. And again, if you come back to Nigeria, we have so many superstars that they fell off stage yeah. before. We can talk about Bono Boy. I remember Bono Boy fell off stage. She fell off so hard, she jumped right back up on stage. Skip, and the music did not even stop. <laughs> Some music to train back, like uh, I fall by. Uh, I got yeah. Who else fell off stage? Yeah, Nigeria? I know of Shady Shay falling. All right. Doing performance. Who? Peter of Pisco. Uh, Peter, Peter of Pisco. The one that. Okay. Who else? Oprah Winfrey fell off. Yeah, Oprah Winfrey fell off. Was she performing? No, she was talking. That was our kind of performance. She was talking about balance. And the next thing she. She lost balance. She lost balance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so that's not new. So 50 cents. No wonder the policeman that we talked about some weeks yeah, days back yeah. mentioned, but then that's still extreme. Yeah. So 50 cents has come again. All right. Mm -hmm. On to the next um, last it. set. Oh, so we don't have time. Okay, yep. let's quickly rush. Let's rush it. Oh, yeah, that's it from our oh, end. That's, yeah. that's it. But I, I, I don't know if you talk about the big. Uh, B I G the die. Oh, we did. Yeah. We talked about that yesterday. Yeah. Okay. On Prime Time Africa. Wow. Yeah. We even played some is. songs. Oh. Yes. There's too, too many uh, people going to B I G. Yes. Thank you so much for being part of Kenny's Entertainment News. I join us tomorrow for fresh edition of Kenny's Entertainment News. If you have some news for us, why not put it on our website, on our Instagram page, and tag Kenny, tag um, Ife, or tag Edna, and tag Omar Vibes. We'll be able to put it up to you or check it out mm -hmm. and broadcast it to you. My name is Kenny Keke Ogunwe. Yeah, my name is Omar Vibes. And I'm Joseph Edna. And of course, I'm Ife Adjagi. Stand by now as we present to you, uh, as we present to you, um, sports news, talk about um, Mitchell Obi alongside Master Sports International as they bring us sports salsa and we have in the studio one and only Bello. <laughs> 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 Good morning, Baba Good morning.